Former White Bear Lake firefighter Jeff Lokes has organized countless charity events, and he's going to talk about his latest journey, 100 Miles, 100 Stories, and how it's bringing awareness to a very serious problem many people don't know about. Thanks, Jeff, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Welcome back. Thank you, Tracy. We're here talking about charities, special teams charities. Remind us how you started that. When I was on the fire department myself, along with a few other firefighters, just kind of had the feeling like we're just going through the daily motions here. As honorable as a profession as that is, we just felt like we needed to do something uh, a little bit more. So we came up with the idea and the name. I remember the day exactly. And we said, just for people who want to do a little bit more for the community, um, let's start this up. And that was about 10 years ago, and it gets a little bit stronger every year. Wow, 10 years. Excellent. Tell us about some of your fundraisers. I hear you got married during one of them? That's correct. Uh, last year in this very spot, actually, um, White Bear Lake was nice enough to let us use um, this facility here, and we couldn't get married until we filled a truck for the food shelf, and uh, we had to use a bigger truck the day before we found out, so we were very nervous, and that ended up being a good thing because we filled that one. People could not have been more generous, and that's just like White Bear Lake has been to us, and we were able to do that and able to get married on the same day. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. I remember that. Yeah. What is 100 miles, 100 stories? This has kind of been on my back burner for a few years. I work in the emergency department of a local hospital. And we see a, a lot of bad things there, which has been very eye-opening to me. I thought it would be a real nice profession to see nurses take care of people, and I was very naive. It's a, it can be a, a very violent place. We have police officers that work with us, security guards and nurses, and I've seen a lot of verbal and physical abuse. So. I owe a lot to them and they want a voice and I feel like I have to do something because I don't think a lot of people know what goes on at hospitals. It's not a lot of things that the public would be proud of if they knew they were doing. So 100 miles, 100 stories. We're hiking 100 miles from the Canadian border going south on Superior Hiking Trail. And the 100 stories is we are interviewing people and we're going to share 100 stories from nurses who've been um, physically abused, verbally abused, police officers who everyone assumes police officers are robots and um, they don't have emotions, but we've heard from them also saying, can you share our stories as well? Firefighter paramedics, a lot of patients that we get that hit us because they're on drugs or drunk. The ambulance crew had them first. I've been spit, spit at, kicked, punched, slapped, so have my coworkers. And they're the first ones that drop them off and we all have to deal with them. And my hope is the 100 stories is the most important part. So the hike is dedicated 100 miles. Each mile will be dedicated to someone who shared their story. You're also putting uh, care packages together for firefighters that are deployed. Can you tell yep. us more about that? Yeah, Beyond the Yellow Ribbon Network, who's just an outstanding organization that we work with, reached out to us because 50 firefighters that are in the National Guard also just got deployed over to undisclosed locations. These are people that are on your local fire departments out of uh, St. Paul, Duluth, everywhere in between, and they weren't given much notice. So these are people that we all work with. We all look forward to Minnesota summers. These guys were just about to do that and they just got sent overseas. I've been over there before. I got the care packages. They're worth their weight in gold. There's no way to explain how outstanding it is to get one, and we're sending these guys eye drops, um, food, just things they can't just walk to a store and get, things that we take for granted, we're sending that over to them. So again, it's about 50 firefighters that were deployed over there very recently. So. And like Great. you said, we have a lot of good White Bear Lake residents and a lot of viewers that want to help. Uh -huh. How can they help your causes? What can um, they do? We of course have our Facebook page, um, Special Teams Charities, that's where we do most of our work. You just message us through that. We're hoping people organize through their fire departments, through their companies. We've got hospitals on board already where they're dropping stuff off and we'll pick it up from people like we always do. And Beyond the Yellow Ribbon Network covers the cost of shipping it over there, which is quite the cost. Wonderful. And finally, how has this changed your life? Uh, the charity work itself, it's been eye-opening. I've seen enough bad things happen in my life through the military, through the fire department, through the emergency room and um, I, I want to get back in touch with the good things of life and meeting the people that we have through charity has made it worthwhile and it's it's allowed me to find the softer part of my heart and seeing people in the hospital how in the world am I going to complain in the emergency room when it's life-changing events for them we get them just like you guys yeah. do at the worst moments in their life 
how am I going to complain about that, you know, doing my job? So it's let me see the softer side of life. Um, going through the daily motions of life is not good enough for me anymore. I want to make a difference, and if I'm not doing that, I'm not working hard enough. And you've done a lot over the last 10 years and before that, and we appreciate everything that you've done and happy to spread the word. So yes, well, we owe you thanks for what you do. I never had a hometown growing up. I moved around a lot. Some people take that for granted in White Bear Lake. It's a new feeling for me. So I want to give back to the uh, city that's adopted us. So thank you for what you Great. do, more importantly. And thank you for joining us. To find out how you can contribute or get involved, go to Special Teams Charities Facebook page.